think there's a lot of challenges uh, that are facing the insurers, especially in South Africa regarding regulation. And a lot of it uh, we're finding that it's been driven globally as well. Um, so for example, over the last couple of years they were facing the issue of solvency which was a big issue for insurers, and then there's a couple more regulations that are coming their way, like the retail distribution review that's going to be coming through in the next couple of years. And obviously the big one in terms of IF IFRS 17 for insurers, that's going to be a big one for insurers as well to contend with. Uh, and all of these regulations we find that the insurers are finding more and more challenging, but it's good for the industry as well because I think uh, as South Africans, in terms of the insurance, we need to have more, a bit of a more control over regulations. They are needed, the regulations are needed for the insurer and ultimately for the consumer uh, because all these regulations are to protect the end consumer at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, I think that uh, the insurers aren't organized for compliance, they're organized to do their business. So they don't naturally lend themselves to increased overheads associated with compliance and complexity associated with that. And that does lead to quite a lot of tension inside the business on how you organize and run things. So a couple of the challenges that the insurers are facing is that how do they report back in terms of what the regulator wants? So that's the biggest challenge because we find with a lot of the insurers the data is all over the place. They don't know how to bring it all together and then ultimately once they bring it all together they don't know how to compute this data and once they computed how to display it and to basically report it back to the regulator in a certain shape or form. And all that boils down to basically all legacy sets that's, uh, that's around. And insurers are known, I mean, not just in South Africa, but all over the world, that the, the complexity around their source data, where they get their policy administration uh, information, as well as the, also the administering of those policies going forward. It's a big circle, we call it the, the spaghetti junction over there. Nobody knows how it works, but it's just going. But then the complexity of getting data out of that is what's causing the problem uh, for the insurers we find. So I think that's already the problem right there. They're not handling it at the moment. <laughs> and uh, we as SAP, we thought of different ways of helping insurers handle it. So what we've done is that we've introduced what we call an integrated finance and risk platform. And what this uh, platform basically does, it basically reshapes your data. So for example, it does four things. It collects all your data from all your source systems because we do realize that insurers have got multiple source systems that the data is coming into. So within this platform, it basically uh, extracts the information into this platform on a source uh, data layer. That's the first aspect of it. And then once the data is there, you basically do the second natural thing, which is computing the data. Once the data is computed, you display the results, and once the results are there, then you have to basically now report on those results. So those are the four aspects of our integrated risk and finance data platform. Because from what we're thinking, it just makes sense from finance and your risk data to be in one position or in one pool of data. Uh, and then once it's in one uniform platform, from there, then you can basically manipulate data and try and make sense of it. Because all the data is there, all your reporting layer is there, and then from there, no matter what regulation comes your way as an insurer, you're basically now, because the data is at, at your disposal, you're able to report in any shape or form that the regulator requires. So I think that the big insurers, as Nao has described, and they have uh, very complex ways of trying to make sense of all of this at the moment. And because they don't have the data in a data model which is consistent with what the regulator requires, they have enormous margins of error and inefficiency and duplication which occur from the time a transaction occurs, a, a, you know, a life policy payment or a, pay, or a claim, uh, until the point that it needs to be reported for capital or for solvency or for the regulator. Um, and many of them have a huge mishmash of stuff in between which tries to solve this problem of uh, duplication and inconsistency uh, to make it meaningful. So there's, mar there's huge margins of error in this. And m big margins of error not only mean bad data or bad outcomes, but they also can mean more capital held than should be required, or less than should be required. Uh, so everybody knows it's marginally wrong, but no one quite knows exactly by how much because of the scale of the problem. And what we're trying to do through some of the SAP solutions is to at least integrate this into a way that it can be done coherently and so that at the most basic level of a transaction is being done with this end game uh, in sight, which is to run the business better, 
give management more tools and to allow the regulator to get exactly what he requires, you know, she requires.